Right, hi there guys, this is uh, Scapegoat Steven, back with another unboxing video. Um, this time we have Stannis Bro Broca, the Steelhead Commander Mercenary Solo. Um, I got him mostly, again, for thematic purposes, um, because, you know, Steelhead's kind of cool. Um, when we get to his card, um, I'll go through why I don't necessarily think he's, uh, he's as good as his points cost implies. Um, However, we'll look at the model first. Um, so as you can see, we've got five bits, six if you include the base. Um, so we've got one half of his horse, of his horse, of his horse. I've uh, got the other half. We've got the horse's head. We've got Stannis raising his hands in the air like he just don't care. And then his weapon, which actually looks like quite a nice meaty weapon, at least. Um, so we'll now have a look at the card. Um, we'll go through his, uh, his stat line. So speed 8, strength 6, mat 7, rat 6, defense 13, armor 17, command 9, officer. So he is a little bit of a command fixer for steelheads. He's got a hand cannon. Um, he's also got a reach power and strength 12 melee weapon. It's alright. He's got 10 hitboxes. Um, and he costs 4 points. 4 points is basically the, the deal breaker for a lot of people on him. Because you could get Ealexia for exactly the same points cost. Um, I have seen or heard of a silly idea for a tactic. Which I do want to give a try out with him. Um, it probably won't work very well but we'll have a go. Um, in Highborn Covenant he gets advanced deployment because he is a solo. He is speed 8. Ashling quickens him up to speed 10. He can run 20 inches. Um, so if you're going first, he's 13 inches down the board. He can get 23... 20, 33 inches across the board. So he can go engage your opponent's advanced deploy area. Which is really, really tempting. Just to slow down your opponent. Um, like I said, I'll give it a go. I don't think he's going to be worth those 4 points for that. But it will be quite a laugh to uh, to try it out. Uh, he'll work for Crix, Signar, Kador, and the Protectorate because he is a steelhead. Um, he has defensive strike. Once per turn, an enemy model advances into and ends its movement, and this is Miss Model's melee range. This model can immediately make one normal melee attack. It's all right. Um, he'll potentially kill an infantry model with that. Um, He's got Tactician Steelhead, so while in his command range, friendly Steelhead models ignore other friendly Steelhead models when determining line of sight. Friendly Steelhead models can advance through other friendly Steelhead models in this model's command range without without effect if they have enough movement to move completely past them. Again, all right. Uh, he's got backswings. He makes two attacks. He also gets plus two to charge attack damage rolls. He becomes power fourteen on the charge. Um, all of that added up. I'm not sure if that is worth four points. I think I'd much rather he was, wasn't on a horse, um, so was much slower, and was three points on, or maybe even two points. Um, he's probably a bit strong for two points, but three points would have been nice and take him off the horse. Um, four points is very, very difficult. Mind you, even three points, three points is an Iris points value. Is that model as good as Iris on his card? Um, I think it depends on how many steelheads you're running. So it depends on it. if you're going with Damiano's theme force or uh, or perhaps uh, P Magnus theme where you're losing, using a lot of steel heads I think maybe three points would have been definitely worth it for him um, I think as it hap as it stands his four point cost is quite high um, potentially too high um, given you can bring as I mentioned Iana and Holt or uh, sorry I mentioned the Alexia but you could also have bought Iana and Holt for that points cost um, so it's not that he's a bad model it's just that there are other models in mercenaries that are perhaps better for those four points. Um, like I said, I'll give that gimmick a go once he's assembled of uh, charging him off down the uh, down to engage my opponent's front line, um, and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I don't expect it to be an amazing uh, tactic, and I expect most armies to be able to casually remove him. Um, but I guess if it jams up their advanced deploy um, and slows them down for a turn, then it'd be quite good for scenario presence, perhaps. Um, so I'll let you know. Um, we'll give it a go and see what happens. So that's the end of another unboxing video. Uh, I'll be back soon with some more. Uh, until then, thank you for watching.